What's going on YouTube fam? Mikey here shooting another high adventure video. We are out on this gorgeous reservoir I have never been to in my life. Fishing for a fish that I have never fished for in my life. So this should be quite an interesting video. Hopefully I don't bomb out, uh, but I'm pretty confident in my fishing ability. So we'll just have to see what happens, I guess. So we got a hot tip about three or four days ago that the walleye fishing is supposed to be pretty good out here, along with some decent sized trout getting pulled out of this reservoir. I've got with me here, the trusty Hobie kayak. In fact, this is the first time I think that I'm taking it out fishing. The last two times I've taken it out actually were for hunting frogs. So this is actually its main voyage on a fishing trip. So I'm excited to give this a try out in some new waters. Really nothing left to do except let's just go get fishing. Here's something else I'm pretty excited about. I got myself a Hummingbird Helix 5 uh, depth finder. It's got down imaging as well as sonar. So I'm pretty excited to give that a try for the first time today. We'll see how it works. I think I rigged it up right. I guess we'll find out here in a minute. All right, good news is, looks like this is working. That's awesome. All right, first things first, get rigged up. Now, in my walleye fishing research, because remember, I've never done this before, one of the simplest ways to catch the walleye I learned was just to use a jig head like this and to throw a night crawler on it. And then you just jig it. So that is how I'm gonna start my expedition into my first ever walleye hunting here. Then we're gonna leave a little bit dangling just like that. And that is how, again, that's like I said, when in my research, that was like kind of the simplest form of walleye fishing right there. And that's like, the, I figured the best way to start. But the first goal is at least just get a walleye in the boat to start the day off. And then once we can do that, then I'll start experimenting around a little bit with some other baits and stuff like that. Here we go, down she goes. Water's pretty clear, a lot of junk on the top, but uh, it's pretty clear past the junk, it seems like. Wait, there's a bite. Got it, we got one. Okay, we, we got one, we got one. I thought I saw something on the bottom. It's a perch, hey, there we go. I'll take it. That's a nice sized perch too, it's a chunky one. All right, not a walleye, but it's a fish. It's not a bad little yellow perch right there. Saw a little, saw some junk on the bottom. And uh, that was probably just a little school of perch. Sweet. Get him over the side. Nice, well we'll eat something tonight. That's good. Let's go get one of those big walleye though. So take a look at that right there. You see there's a fish right there. And see that little line along the bottom? I'm thinking that's our perch. And those might be the bigger, uh, the walleye that you see hanging out like above that line. There's at least one there. All right, we just got down to the bottom. Oh, oh I got one. Guys, I just, just just got down to the bottom. I've already got one. I don't know what it is. Oh, it's a walleye. It's a walleye. Oh, our first walleye. Oh my gosh. Okay, okay. Nice and easy. Nice and easy. Oh wait, wait, I've got a net here. What am I doing? That's our first walleye. Yeah. Oh, he just came off. Look at that. Oh yeah, buddy. Our first ever walleye. It's like a perch. That's what it reminds me of. So he's got like stickers on the side of his fins. He's probably about like, I don't know, that's a really skinny one, maybe 10 inches long, maybe 11, probably about 11 inches. Oh, he's got some teeth in there. Wow. But ladies and gentlemen, let me introduce you to my first walleye ever. That is so cool. Go ahead and get him back in. There we go. Hey, that's a good sign. This side of the bank. Let's get back down there. We need a little bigger. Let's get cooking. Sweet. I'm juiced. That was crazy, just kind of loaded on. Like I didn't even, you know, it didn't like smash it, thump it. I just reeled up and he was just on. Kind of, kind of like how perch, wait, there's another one. Oh, I just had a bite, I just had another bite. Just had a totally, just had another bite. Yeah, there's a bite. Got him, got him, got him, got him, got him. What is it? This is a nice perch. Oh yeah, this is a nice perch. Let's, let's net him. Guys, we got a little school of something right down here. Yes, sweet, another perch. Not 100% what we're after, but I'll take a fatty perch all day long to throw on the stringer. That'll taste good all day long right there, guys. That's awesome. That's another probably eight, nine inch perch, maybe 10 inches. We can measure them up later. There we go, guys, look at that. Yeah, he's, I would say, yep, a little bit bigger than the last one, probably by about half an inch. Sweet. 
There's a bite. Got him. We got another one on, guys. This feels like you might have some weight to it. We're gonna loosen the drag a little bit. Us, if this is a fish, it should be a decent one. Feels like it. Well, well, okay, I loosened that way too much. This might be the size of fish we're after. Come on. Come on, just load it on. Oh yeah, 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 this is a decent sized walleye. Yeah, I think this is a keeper walleye right here, guys. Where's my net? Where's my net? It's a little bit bigger, I would say, than the last one. Oh yeah, oh yeah, come on, baby. Come on, come on, come on. Yes! Look at us, guys. Oh my gosh. Yeah, that's awesome. That, I think, is a keeper right there. Look at that. That's definitely a little better than the last one. That's about the extra two inches we needed, I would say. Man, what a pretty fish. I'm thinking there's some meat right along the side of there. That's awesome. I can see how you need these to be bigger because they're pretty thin. They're pretty thin. They're not like a trout where they're like wide or a bass that's wide. So I can see why you need them like 14, 16, 18 inches long. Check out those teeth right there. You don't grab that by the lip, that's for sure. <laughs> That's a nice fish. We'll throw him on the stringer. We're going to try us some walleye. All right, let's measure him up here. I'm going to say like 14 inches. Here we go. Yeah, just hang out just like that. No, yeah. Right. Like 13 and a half. We'll go 13 and a half inches. That's awesome. All right, stick a look at this. I just tied on a little jig. I've tipped it with some worm. It's got a little bit more body to it, a little bit of meat there. So maybe we'll get a little bit bigger fish is what I'm hoping. Let's see if that works. So I have this little product here called Bait Wax. I'll put a link in the description below. This is Nightcrawler set. Totally like deodorant. Let's give this a try. We're doubling up on the Nightcrawler scenty scent. Guess that'll do. I guess like Mr. Miyagi. Wax on, wax off. Got him. Ha, it just hit the bottom. Yeah. But this is, if this is a perch, this is a big perch. Otherwise, this is a walleye. Yep, another walleye. Look at that. Booyah on the jig. On the jig. Wait, where's my net? Look at that. Come here, you. Yeah. That's a pretty fish. But again, he needs a couple more inches on him. I'd get some meat off that. If I were like doing a, a hunger challenge where I like eat only what I could catch or whatever, I'd keep him, but. I don't know. We'll let him get a couple, two or three more inches. He's probably like right at 12 inches long. And uh, I could see now why they're like, I've heard I had people tell me, oh, they need to be like 15, 16 inches in order to eat. And I'm like, what? That doesn't make any sense. But now I see why. Sweet, that's walleye number three, guys. We're crushing it. That's awesome. Oh, there's a bite. Got him, whoa. He threw slack in the line. Whatever this is, hit it. And through slack and hey a walleye numero forero small one but he he actually bumped it pretty good like all of a sudden my line just went slack and i was like whoa oh, i can't lip him what am i doing yeah, that's probably about 11 inches or so pretty fish these are really cool looking fish really cool looking fish let's get this down there again though i was kind of hoping for how big of a hit he threw on that it'd be a little bigger but all good, all good. We're still catching fish. All right, we're starting to figure out this pattern. Before I was like jigging it really hard and uh, the last couple of fish, they've just loaded on. I've just dropped it down and it was just kind of drift fishing. So we're just gonna keep drifting, but I feel like we're starting to put it together now. Not getting too crazy with it. Before I was really like trying to work it hard, work the jig. Oh, that might've been a fish right there. I might've just got popped. Check it out. Yeah, we got a bite. Look, the end of that worm's totally gone. Got to rig back up. There's one. Got him. Got him. Just load it on again. I'll bet this is another. Well, yeah, I'll bet this is a walleye. It's a little heavier. No, this is a big perch. This is a big perch. Big perch. This might be the biggest perch of the day. Oh, yeah. Come on. Come on. Uh. Yeah, look at this. Well, this is a toad perch. This is a fatty McFattersville right here. Look at that. Look at that chunky. Come on, put your spines up for me there. There we go. Look at that. That's probably, well, let's measure them up. I want to see how big it is, but that's a good eating yellow belly perch right there. Maybe just a smidgety widgety over 10 inches. That's a decent perch. 
That's a decent perch all day long. There we go, look at this. That's what I'm talking about. I'd like to add a couple more big walleye to that, but that is sweet. We're doing good, we're gonna eat really well today. All right, we just got a bite. Oh, he might be up. Got him, yep, yep, just load it on. Just load it on. Okay, this might be a decent fish. This might be a bit more of a porker. He certainly feels a little weightier. Oh yeah, yeah, this is a keeper. This is a keeper. I don't know if he's bigger than the than the one I got on the string already, but he's bigger than the last few we've gotten. Yeah! While I would be number six, except we lost the last one, so it's only number five. So <laughs> like how I did that? There we go! Booyah, guys! Are you kidding me? That's what I'm talking about. Just load it on. Load it on. Sweet! Let's measure them up. Let's see how big we got here. If you guys want one of these, this is like a scale slash measuring tape. If you guys want one of these, I'll have a link in the description below. And we are at... Where is it? Yep, right at 14 inches, guys. Another 14 incher. Nice! Boo to the yaw. There we go. I mean, that is an awesome looking stringer. Three fat perch, two 14 inch walleye. Still after that piggy walleye, but I think we'll get him. Give us some time. We're getting this pattern down. Looking good. Man, I'm stoked. Five walleye so far. Nothing huge, but we've got time. We've got all day tomorrow. Me ancient's actually heading this way. So I'm gonna get back to camp. I wanna get a few of these fish cleaned up because I want some guts. I brought my car crawdad trap with me. So I'd like to put my crawdad trap down and see if we can pull some crawdads out of here. I don't know. I mean, I'm assuming there are crawdads here. It's really rocky and it's Idaho. So, but I'd like to get the crawdad trap down and soaking and uh, we'll cook a couple of these fish up and see how they taste. See if they taste as good as I remember that they did. All right, we've parked the boat. Here's camp. Got the truck pulled down right to the edge of the reservoir. Got a little chair. Got this little cook set up here. If you guys, a lot of you have seen this, but if you haven't, check it out. I've got a link in the description below to this bad boy. You can use wood or charcoal or this little gas canister here that I'm gonna be using. Uh, it's a pretty sweet little setup. That is awesome. Get yourself one. And we got our fish over here on a stringer. Still looking good. All right, so quick status update. I just broke the strap on my flip-flop. You know, a lot of people don't know, but flip-flops are actually also called thongs. So I guess you could say I just broke the strap to my thong. And so really not pleased about that, but I did get a lot of good use out of them. I think I've had those for a couple of years, so not shabby. I don't know if there's anything different to walleye or not, if they're like more bonier, less bonier. I guess we're all finning to find out right now. And voila. There we go. We got a couple of nice straps off of that per that wall. I almost called it a perch. I can definitely see though why people want them bigger, like the 16 inches and stuff. So it's not like a catfish, you know, like a 12 inch catfish, you're getting steaks off of it just about. All right, more guts. In fact, actually we're gonna take these gut, the actual guts out. We'll just put the carcass in there and then we'll put the guts in our little trap there, little trap box. Set him right back there. I undid all the line. Probably should have waited till I was out there to do that. Hindsight's always 20-20 though. All right, so I decided to ditch the thongs. I'm going barefoot. There's kind of no reason to keep them on. I'm gonna go ahead and drop a couple of four ounce sinkers in there, help it get to the bottom, help it stay down there. I mean, we don't have a lot of current here, but help it get down there a little faster, stay put. And there goes our jug. Nice. It'll just sit down there. All right, let's head back and get cooking. All right, so I got both the walleye filleted. Now, since this is my first time doing walleye, I think we're just gonna go pretty basic. So I'm gonna just start with some salt over all the fillets. I'll also do some parsley. I'm also gonna do some roasted garlic and herb seasoning. If you guys have watched my channel, you know I love this stuff. So I figure for the first batch, cause I'm figuring on getting more tomorrow, we'll go with a recipe that I know is delicious. Go ahead and crack some organic black pepper on everything too. Go ahead and put a couple lemon slices in with this. Maybe just like two on top there, we'll squeeze some lemon. 
around in there. Then, of course, we'll add some butter. Let's go ahead and fold that up now. And we'll go ahead and take the lid off, make sure that's hot. Yeah, we're good. Put it on the grill grate. Put the lid back over and let it cook. All right, guys, me ancient just got here. This hey, Pops. Nice. Hey, hey. How, How are you doing? doing? I'm doing great, son. Good to see nice you. Nice to see you. You got a set up here. I am. Well, I'm getting my tent set up. So we're starting on that before it gets too dark. What do you have on the grill? I've got walleye on the walleye. grill. That's what we got on the, on the grill. Yeah, he made it. I wasn't sure if he was going to be able to make it, guys. Always great when me ancient can show up, hang out at least for a little bit. While he is out fishing, I'm gonna go ahead and cook him up some supper because he hasn't had supper yet. I haven't had supper yet. So let's check on these walleye. Oh yeah, look at this guys, open that up. Oh yeah, that's looking good in there. Are you kidding me? Oh, it smells delicious. We'll flip those fish around a little bit, make sure everything gets cooked through, but those will definitely be done by the time he gets back. All right guys, for this perch, I'm just doing a little salt and butter. And then I've got a little teriyaki sauce, which is drizzling it all over. Never had teriyaki perch before. I don't think I have anyway. Maybe I have and I don't remember. But anyway, sounds delicious. All right, and as sort of an extra special treat, I've got some ribeye steak. We're gonna throw on the grill here for me ancient. I'm gonna be using a little Chicago steak seasoning by Team Weber. Some of you know that. My bro Ace from Ace Videos thinks it's Weber. So the debate continues. There we go. Gonna have us a feast tonight. All right, gang. We're gonna go ahead and give some of this walleye a try. The ancient's still out fishing, so he's must be having a good time. First time in like 15 years, literally. Last time I think I had it, I think it was like 12 years old. There is no doubt in my mind. That is still the best freshwater fish I've ever eaten. Steak's looking good. See how that's perch is looking. Oh yeah, perch is looking real good. Let's go ahead and give the ribeye a taste. Oh, check it out. We got like a full moon, it looks like. That might not be quite a full moon, but we're like one night away from a full moon. That's pretty. Okay, so here are my sleeping quarters for the night. Just a little tent set up right in the back of my truck. This is basically like the Hilton Honors uh, in the middle of nowhere. So I will take it. Really, I'm not too interested in the actual camping part. I'm more camping just so I can be right on the water. So first thing in the morning, I can get up and go fishing. Uh, that's the main reason we're camping. Okay, very little light left in the sky, but me ancient returns. How'd it go, Pops? I didn't do any, didn't catch any. Oh, shoot. All right, there you go, Pops. Wow. We've got, uh, so I've got some teriyaki perch. Oh my goodness. That's the walleye, and then that's a ribeye right oh there. Oh my so. gosh, son. I'm sorry you didn't get anything out there. Oh, heck, you know what it is. You have a good time. Yeah, that walleye. You know what? I've had walleye in forever, and I decided, yeah, that's still the best tasting best freshwater, freshwater fish. fish <laughs> out there. Absolutely. Now, you used to catch walleye in, uh, in the Midwest, didn't you? In Iowa, yeah. Okay, yeah. I, you know, I only caught one. It was. Oh, no kidding. Yeah, I was getting ready to move down south where I ultimately met your mother. <laughs> and um, I went fishing the night before I left and it was like a, a storm had moved in or was getting ready to move in I caught walleye catfish crappie bat it was one of those days where everything was biting because the front was coming in oh nice thank you this is super super this is beautiful I awesome mean, that, the, the, the walleye is just it's walleye yeah what can you say and the way you did it you just let it be walleye that was great awesome thank you son this yeah is really, absolutely. Really good. thank you Oh man, the breeze has picked up, so of course my tent's whipping all around my head. Love when that happens. I know it's going to be a real restful night's sleep tonight. Oh gosh. Well, I'll see you guys in the morning. Hopefully. <laughs>
right on the bank, but something came along and took them. Hey, look at me. Look, look at my ear flaps. If these go out any further, we're gonna be able to take flight here. This is incredible. All right, we got a little sunny side up egg action going on this morning as well. So right now we're basically just like huddled on the other side of the truck, trying to stay out of the wind. One thing I've noticed is about four vehicles have pulled up and they're starting to do some bank fishing. In fact, this guy right down here, uh, I've seen him pull in two fish and they're either, they're either trout or they're walleye. But uh, in about the past 20 minutes, he's caught two. So I might have to wander down there and see what he's catching because with the white caps on the water like this, I just, I'm not gonna take my kayak out. Nothing like some fresh hot sausage first thing in the morning. That'll get your day going. All right guys, no more beating around the bush. We gotta go bring that crawdad trap in. We gotta brave the weather here a little bit. I don't wanna jinx it, but it almost feels like it might be calming down just a little bit. Moment of truth. See if we got anything. Anything in the trap? Uh, we got like three, four, five, like five of them. Got a few in there, but not a lot. Toss that back there, let's get back to shore. There we go, made it back. That was a little dicey, a little dicier than I care to do. Here we go, we got one, there you go. He's an eating size. That's interesting, they've got like a different type of claw than I'm normally used to seeing. That's another one, two, these are totally different looking crawdads than what I'm used to catching. Almost looks like, like mountain crawdads or something like that. I like got really blue uh, claws and a lot lighter looking than the crawdads I catch like in the Boise River. It's pretty cool though. Trap worked, that's always good to know. All right, so I made a quick pit stop back at camp. You can see I've got the crawdad trap with me. The wind has died down considerably actually, so fingers crossed it stays that way the rest of the afternoon. We're heading across to the other side now. That is the side I wanted to fish. So we're getting to go do that now. It's probably about 10, 30, 11 o'clock in the morning. So get over there. First, we'll drop our crawdad trap down. Let that soak for a couple hours. See if we can add some more crawdads. All right, about 30 feet of water. Over the side she goes. 34 feet of water. All right, jug. Hang out there. Perfect. All right, we got that done. All right, now we're getting in on some fishing. This is what I was excited about last night. Oh, there's a bite. Got him, got him, just loaded on. There we go, first fish of the day. Guys, look at this, it is so calm out here all of a sudden. We went from like 25 mile an hour winds today. Oh, that's a nice, that's a nice wallet. Look at that, look at that. Good way to start the day right here. Nice, nice, nice. Well, it wasn't quite as big as I was hoping. Let's see. Ooh, Ooh. I, you know what, I think we will, well, let's see how, I think that's a 14 inch right there. I think we could get some, some food off of him. It's a nice little fish. You know what, that's a little bit small. He's probably about 12 and a half, 13 inches. We're gonna let him go. Still a pretty fish though. Still a pretty, pretty fish. Well, well, there you go. That was an easy release. Nice. Good way to start the day. Got one. We got one. The walleye. Oh my goodness. There we go. Oh, it's been a minute. There you go. Probably about 12 inches. A little too small. Still a pretty fish though. That's two on the day. All right, let's go check our crawdad trap. It's been a couple hours now, or thereabouts. Oh, right, after we check this trap, we gotta get serious about this fishing, guys. It's been slow. And a couple of tiny ones. That's it. A couple of small crawdads. This is the size we're getting. That actually might be a good piece of bait right there. So we'll throw them on the ice. I think we'll go ahead and bench the, uh, the crawdad trap for now. Well, shucks, guys. I have got the two walleye, and the last walleye I caught was like an hour ago. 
This is slow fishing. My only companion so far today has been this awesome Chex Mix. It's called Turtle Chex Mix. Well, that's been about the only good thing on this boat today. Got one. We got one. Come on, baby. Oh yeah, guys, this is a keeper. This is a keeper. Oh, where am I at? Oh, finally! Come here! Yes! There we go. There we go. We'll keep that right there. That's not bad at all. Shoo! Oh my gosh, guys, I haven't caught anything in forever. It's literally been like two hours since my last fish. But we'll throw him on a stringer. Heck yeah, it's probably about another 14 inches. Nice! All right, a little something something on the stringer finally. Oh, it's like three o'clock in the afternoon and I finally string her up. Whew, it's been that tough today. I don't know what happened. I don't know what changed, but uh, I've been trying to do the same thing, still throwing this little jig here, tip it with a little bit of worm. I've, I've even just used regular night crawlers and I've uh, been having a tough time getting fish to bite. So it might just be a little bit different conditions. Maybe it's a little warmer or something, I don't know. Oh dang, there was a bite. See another bite, another bite right there. Just totally got took again. Hey, gum. There's some sort of structure around here because every time I come over here, I swear to you, I get a bite. There's something down here. There we go, we got him. Third time's a try, it's a little perch. I'll take it. Chopped it down there. Got him, of course my GoPro wasn't on. That's a little small to eat. That's what's been bugging us. I'll have to let that one go. Good sign though, another fish. I missed him. I missed him. He had it. He had it. Dead gum. I, oh my gosh. Who's can you see? Got him. There we go. Now we're cooking. Boom. I was due, man. This feels like a decent fish too. Maybe it's just because I haven't caught anything. Well, it was about 30 minutes. Oh no, this is a decent walleye. Yeah, it's another stringer walleye. Let's grab the net. Yeah, come on, baby. This might be the biggest one of the trip if I can get him. Yeah! All right! Oh yeah, we'll put him on a string. That's another like 14 incher. Guys, now I'm feeling quite jolly. We're putting fish on the stringer. I'm getting psyched now. You know, it's evening time and yesterday, Seems like I started catching my fish about this time of day as well. So maybe there's something to that. Later in the day, maybe, is when the bite's happening. Yeah, that's a good looking little stringer. I mean, it's not the greatest in the world. Some of you at home might be like, bro, are you serious? And yes, I am serious. This is my first walleye trip ever. I'm digging it. Oh, I'm so tired, I wanna fish. There's a boy. Got it. Oh no! How'd he get off? Are you kidding me? Oh, man, look at that. He took the whole the whole tail and everything. Boom. Got it. Yeah. Just load it on. Woo! -hoo. Might be another good one. I don't know. That was deep. That was in 30 feet of water. Uh, no, never mind. He's actually probably the smallest one. How about that? But another one. Guys, I feel like I have conquered this walleye fishing. Okay. Conquered might be a strong term. But I'm pretty dang proud. What is this, like number eight or something like that? Uh, it's not big. But it's number eight. I'll take it. Off you go. Got him. Got one. Come on. Here we go. I don't know. Feels like he's got some weight too. Of course I said that about, oh no, 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 yeah, this is a keeper. It's a keeper. Come on. Come here, you. Oh, right on the top of the lip. Yeah! Woohoo! Oh, he'll go on the stringer. Got him! Look at that. That's not too shabby right there. That's not shabby at all. Right on that jig. Gobbled it up. There's a boy. Oh, I missed him. There's a bite. Got him. There we go. Shaking its head a lot. It's either going to be a perch or a small walleye would be my guess. It's a perch. I was right. 
shaking his head. Oh, that's a nice purse. That's a fatty. That's going to be one of the biggest ones of the trip right there, guys. That is not bad at all right there. Not a bad perch. Look at that. Oh, he'll definitely go on the stringer. I was actually surprised I haven't caught more today. That's pretty. Pretty yellow perch. There we go. Man, guys, we're cooking now. It's like that evening bite. Definitely getting better as the evening's coming on. That's for sure. There's a boy. Oh, oh. <gasps> I just totally broke my line. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, wait. My line's right there. Line's right there. Oh, oh, no, no, no. Don't go anywhere. Don't go anywhere. No, 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 no. Oh, my gosh. My line got caught on my Gatorade bottle. And it just totally snapped it. Oh, man. Are you kidding me? Ah. Well, that is a massive bummer. Good. Okay. Gatorade bottle. You're going over here. Good grief. All right. We're retied back in the water after my Gatorade bottle decided to do me dirty You're supposed to be quenching my thirst bro not losing fish there's a bite got him got him just gave it a little slack she picked it up I'm gonna guess this is a walleye it's not shaking its head very much maybe one more decent walleye potentially no baby walleye a bibs but hey it's another walleye still a pretty fish small that's probably the, one of the smallest ones that's like 10 inches whoa 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 that was a big old trout whoa guys i was just totally i was turning around trying to head back up and that was a big old trout that was probably like a 16 18 inch trout those guys are uh they troll for them i'm gonna just throw this back down there see if we get something while I head back up and try one last little bit for uh, for uh, what you call it for some walleye that was pretty crazy all right oh we we're on the bottom that was either a rock no that was a rock it's like maybe that's a fish oh that's a fish no 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 boy I just that got right okay wait 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 this is pounding its head weird this might be a trout guys no, 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 no. This isn't a trout. This isn't a trout. This is a big walleye. No, 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 no. I think this is a trout. I can't tell. I think this is a trout. I think this is one of those big trout guys. We're going to play him a little bit. Yeah, this is one of those trout guys. This is one of those trout. It's just, it's, it's, it's fighting really funny. And I think I saw kind of a green top. No, no, do not come up and jump. Do not come up and jump. I think this is a really decent sized fish too. Oh, this would be a way to end the day right here. Nice and easy, baby. Nice. Oh, he just came off. Oh my goodness. I cannot believe it. Oh, guys, that burns. Oh, that, that, I mean, it wasn't a record breaking trout, but I'll bet it was probably three pounds, something like that. I mean, it, it would have been, oh, that would have been a way to end the day. Oh my gosh. Oh, Fu Manchu. Well, fam, the sun is going down and it seems like the bite is going with it. So, still got my three walleye and one perch. Missed a couple nice trout. Kind of a comedy of errors there at the end. Lost two trout, lost a fish due to my uh, Gatorade jug. It's kind of a weird way to end the day. What did we end up with? I think like nine or 10 walleye, I think, total this trip. So, fairly slow fishing i mean i've probably fished a total of about 12 hours 14 hours between the two days for never having fished for walleye before i'm pretty happy with how everything went hope you guys enjoyed the video thank you so much for watching as always i will see you in the next one